let's start in three, two, one. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the May 25th uh, meeting of the Infrastructure and Economic Development Committee. Uh, we don't have any delegations today, so I'll go right into reports. And the first one is downtown rehabilitation update. Mr. Hoyan. Let me just get my notes open here. Very short report today. Um, good day, Chairman, Mayor, Councillors, and all members. Um, like I said, this is really short. Um, on May 12th, the intersection of 99th Street and 100th Avenue was closed to vehicular traffic. Uh, installation of the new sanitary sewer on 100th Avenue between 99th Street and 100th Street is continuing. And basically, we're continuing the city have provided a board campaign with a second round offered to businesses that might have missed the first round. So basically, construction is just moving along. Um, there's not much else to report, report, no milestones or anything at this point in time. Great, thank you. Are there any questions? And I'm not seeing any, so you gave us slight content, so you get off easy today. So thank you <laughs> again for your work. Well, have and a good day, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I think it says something about this phase of downtown rehabilitation that we don't have as many questions and urgency as we had last time we were going through this. So appreciate that. Uh, next up, I've got Director Glavin for his director's area update. Thank you, Chair Brassi. We'll start in economic development with economic recovery grants. To date, we have uh, distributed 18 beautification grants for a total of 230,000, 41 local marketing grants for approximately 100,000. Uh, seven training grants for 6,300, uh, and uh, we continue to work with some applicants for the barrier-free grant. Uh, as part of the Serving Up Knowledge series, uh, last week we hosted a session on how to best utilize uh, Get in the Loop for your marketing efforts. Uh, the recording is available on the city's YouTube channel. And this week's session is turning up the volume on your digital messages together, and we'll cover best practices for partnership campaigns and using ambassadors in your marketing to expand your audience. Uh, in engineering services, uh, we closed the traffic signal work uh, RFP for 2021 for the intersections of 108th Street and 116th Avenue, as well as 110th Street and 100th Avenue. Uh, as well, last week, uh, we had a slope failure uh, along the Muskegee Park corridor just north of 68th Avenue, uh, where we had to shut down the trail as uh, a good portion of it collapsed. Uh, it's something that we were aware of it happening. We started to see the signs of it over the last couple of years uh, with that area sinking and the asphalt cracking. Uh, we're working on uh, what a long-term solution might be, although that is likely uh, talking a couple of years before we get to that. And that's largely due to the fact that we need to get approvals from Alberta Environment and the Department of Fisheries and Oceans uh, in order to do any work on a slope adjacent to a waterway. Um, in the interim, we've created a uh, wood chip trail around that. So you can still use that trail uh, to get down south on 68th Avenue. However, it's not as accessible. So if you're in a wheelchair, we you know, you would not be advised to try and traverse that wood chip. The, the grade and the uh, type of material isn't likely conducive. However, there is a detour around it where you can uh, go through the Mission Heights neighborhood, uh, Minhas Park, and then up to uh, Kateri Drive and get back on the trail network. Uh, we've also uh, have a tender awarded to continue the trail uh, south of Minhas Park in between the commercial and residential area. Uh, to connect with 68th Avenue, and that trail should be open within the next couple of weeks here. I believe Wapiti uh, will be in there and constructing that as a brand new trail. So there will continue to be a good linkage. It will create two uh, road crossings that you will have to uh, do within the Mission neighborhood. However, it will be an accessible trail that will allow users to uh, continue along that network. In transportation, uh, we've begun the line painting program. Uh, as well as residential street sweeping. We uh, expect it'll take about six weeks to get through the entire city and the residential. Uh, and it follows a similar 
uh, schedule as snow removal. So the day before garbage is when we are in neighborhoods. However, it's a much longer time frame as it takes about six weeks to get through that. So there'll be kind of six days where uh, sweepers will be in the different neighborhoods. In parks, we completed a large scale cleanup along Highway 43 West on uh, May 11th. As well, we've begun mowing operations across the city and as well as uh, installation of a number of trees uh, across the city. And with that, I'll take any questions. Great. Thank you. Mayor Clayton. Thanks, Chair Bresti. Uh, Director Glavin, in regards to the, um, I don't even know if we're calling it temporary, but the alternate trail uh, through the area where there was um, slope sliding, um, for continuity of people using the trails, will it be paved or what does that look like? Mr. Bressy, uh, that's what we're looking into right now. Uh, just making sure that we don't uh, impact the slope negatively before we do that, but that is the goal uh, to get it. So we're actively working to make that happen, but in the interim until we do that, it'll continue to be uh, wood chip. Okay, thank you. And a question I've got about the alternate chair for accessibility. I meant to get out there this weekend and didn't actually end up doing it. Is there wayfinding signs up there for people that aren't aware of it to find their way? Uh, if they're not there yet, they will be soon. Okay. Those Great. are being built. Great, thank you. Any other questions for Dr. Glavin? Uh, Councillor Thiessen. Uh, thank you very much. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Yeah. I, I muted myself. My, my phone's acting up. I got a half a picture in front of my mute microphone, so I'm not sure if I'm ever on or not. Uh, Director Glavin, uh, last committee meeting, I brought forward to you uh, a bit of a slope failure to the south of 68th Avenue on some of the goat trails that are right in behind uh, the west ball diamond fields. Um, and just uh, any any word or any update from our parks department on, on if they've had to close down that trail or or do any mitigation work? Thanks, Chair Bressy. As, as far as mitigation work, uh, given that there aren't any structures that are compromised in that area, it would be unlikely that we would uh, use our capital program to fix anything in that area unless it was pre present, uh, presenting a, an imminent threat to safety or structures. Um, so it's unlikely we'll do anything in there uh, with that. And um, yeah, I haven't heard of any critical failures in there since the last time we spoke. So I'm not sure if you've witnessed anything or, or you've seen anything in that area of note. Um, no, well, I went down there after committee meetings last last week and I, I stuck one of my legs in the sinkhole that's on the side of the hill and I talked with the parks guy down there and talked with Kate DeVries and Michelle Gardner and in regards to that, just because that is our old dump site and uh, if we're getting pockets in there, um, it could be quite dangerous. I, I believe that was ribboned off. Uh, the other part to that to that goat trail, I guess, um, uh, when I was when I was hiking it there and listening to the GPRC uh, Polytechnic announcement, um, one thing I did notice is that uh, there's a goat trail that that people and bikers use going down there, and about a third of the the actual trail had schlepped off uh, into that that bank that that small bank slide into the Bear Creek, uh, and there's like an apparent like like rapid stop by one bicyclist because the, their tire tracks are in there. I think they were coming down fast and straight off the hill. And uh, so as far as a uh, potential safety, um, I, I, if we have some markings, I haven't been out in the trail since then, but, uh, but yeah, I imagine once I took video and pictures, sent it through, that we might be marking it up. But I thought you might've heard. Thanks, Chair Bressy. And if I may, if you could send those pictures along that would, and the location would be useful. For sure, 100%. Great. Any other questions? Awesome. Well, with that, without much other business, then it's still to you, Director Glavin, for your outstanding items list. Thanks, Chair Bressy. And no uh, updates to the list at this time. Great. Could I get a motion to accept? Uh, Councillor Thiessen. Thank you very much, Chair Bressy. I would move that we receive the outstanding items list as presented. Great. Uh, any conversation or debate about that? Not seeing any, I will call to question. And that motion carries. And with that, I will call this meeting adjourned. Thanks, Chair. Then I think we've got a different link for our next meeting.